Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In this video I want to show you another way of inline editing your audio to make it quick and easy to adjust for volume differences without having to go to the process of dealing with the automation lanes which in my opinion are not necessarily the quickest and easiest things to work with. So I'm going to show you another method of dealing with that problem. Now I must say this is a big shout out to Kenny Joya for bringing my attention to this in a recent video he put together and he shows you exactly how to do all this kind of thing. So thanks Kenny for bringing my attention to that. It's a great technique and one I wanted to share with my viewers. If you haven't checked out Kenny Joya's channel please do so. The link is in the description below. The guy is a powerhouse when it comes to Reaper and audio engineering and production and so on. So check his channel out. Tons of great content on there. Anyway without further ado let's take a look at how we can do this inline audio editing right now. So I've got a piece of audio open and this is a vocal track and as you can see there's a distinct difference in level between this first section and the second section. This is where the singer was sort of leaning back to what, from the microphone a little bit in the second part to get some more volume in there and unfortunately what that's done is it's meant that we've got a slightly lower signal going into our door. Now obviously you can go through and you can use automation if you take a look underneath you can see I've done some of that but I wanted to share this other method because it's a much quicker and easier way of tweaking that might not necessarily be quite so powerful but it's a lot quicker to work with. So we've got a couple of ways we can deal with the volume of each piece of audio and what I've done to start off with is I've chopped these up into the relevant little sections because it allows me to go in and fine tune each one independently. So we want to bring in a sort of medium level there and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we can edit each piece of audio. Now if you're used to dealing with this you know that you can go to the top of any piece of audio and you'll see the arrow changes now to a two-headed arrow and I can easily reduce the amount of volume going through that track. And you can see it tells me exactly what volume level I'm working on. You see that's minus 2.65 dB and also shows us at the top next to the name if we make any alterations. Now obviously the problem with that is you can't go up, you can't actually increase the volume on there. So what we can do is we can change the way this works. If we come over to the settings section and we come to Reaper Preferences, we're going to come down to Appearance and Media. And in there we've got an option at the bottom that says Item Volume Control. We've got three options available. The default is Handle plus 0 dB is the top of the item. We can change that to Handle 0 dB as the centre of the item. If I click on that we'll have a centre line now. Click. You can see we now get a centre line in there which I can now raise up to increase, pull down to decrease. Pretty cool. Let's just undo that. We can also use a knob. And what this will do is if I apply that, you'll see at the beginning of each piece of audio, we now get a knob that allows us to increase or decrease the level of audio going through. Whichever of these methods works the best for you, in this example, I would say personally, I think the center of the item is the way that is the easiest because you get a quick visual representation that you can see at any point exactly what's going on. So we can click OK on that and now what we can do is we can use this as a reference point, grab the handle, bring that down in volume, same with the next piece, same with the next piece, and same with the last piece. If we wanted to boost these we could easily come in and give it a boost. So we can easily fine tune the level of that very quickly and easily and visually at any point we can come back and we can see exactly what we've done with this boost both at the top of the area of audio where it tells us the exact dB cut or boost we've given it and also the visual representation of the line in the center of the audio piece itself. So a really cool way of dealing with the audio if you need to boost or cut any particular section and you want to do it quickly and visually. That's all there is to it. Just wanted to share that with you because I thought it's kind of a really great way of speeding up your editing process to do quick and dirty edits on volume issues. Well, there we go. That's all there is to this technique. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. Until next time, happy mixing.